for the Lord. God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord. God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord, God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord, God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord, God omnipotent reigning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord, God omnipotent reigning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son and God the Holy Ghost, I greet everybody listening to the sound of my voice. And that is in the name of Jesus. The name above every other name. The name that shakes and destroys the kingdoms of darkness yeah today is a uh, seventh uh, seventh of January in this new year I bring the good news to all of you from the Word of God I bring a I bring a very good news to everybody listening to the sound of my voice from the word of the living God, the true God, El Shaddai, the eternal God, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Elohim, El Shaddai, almighty God, the God who made heavens and the earth. It is written in the word of God in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 6. You alone are the Lord who made, you alone are the Lord, you, you, you have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and everything on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The host of heaven worships you. That is a true God in heaven. His name is Jehovah, and Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. Today, my main topic or my main sermon is to tell you that not all medical problems can be solved by medical doctors not all medical problems can be solved by your physicians not all problems we have in this world medical problems can be solved by our medical doctors there are lots of problems that are beyond medical intervention for instance a disease called bipolar disorder, there is no known cure for it. Right? And many, many, many others that have defied medical intervention. But I'm glad to tell you that the power of God is able to do it for you today. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, the power of God can set you free from any sickness that is in your body. There is no power, there is no problems, there is no disease that is beyond the ability of God. This God is the one that made the heavens and the earth. This snow that you see here, the snow everywhere, it is this God that made everything that we see around us. He is the living God. He is the true God. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. It is he who allowed Sarah to conceive and give birth to Isaac at a very old age. 
The Bible says Sarah was beyond the child of age bearing. And God remembered Abraham. And Sarah bought him a child in his old age. On old, old age. It is this same God that made way in the Red Sea. In the Red Sea for the children of Israel. The Bible says the death congealed in the heart of the sea. In the book of Exodus, if you read chapter 14 and 15. God made a way. God turned the Red Sea to highway. And the host of God, the children of Israel, passed on the Red Sea. That is the power of God. That is beyond scientific investigation. You cannot investigate that scientifically. It is not possible. Only this God can shake the foundation of the world and rain fire from heaven. If God shakes the foundation of the world and rain fire from heaven, where do we go? If God decides to shake the foundation of this world and rain fire from heaven, where do we go? Nowhere. We can't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere. So the power of God can solve any problems. And God is always willing and is always looking for avenue to save, to heal, and to deliver. It doesn't matter how long you have been in the problems. What matters most is that with God, nothing shall be impossible. The book of Luke chapter 1 verse 37. With God, nothing shall be impossible. It is written in the word of God. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything to add for me? Whatever you are passing through in your life, your financial situation, God is ready to solve the problem right now. Emotional trouble, God is ready to solve your problem. You don't have a job, God is ready to solve your problem. There's a marriage trouble, God is ready to solve your problem. Nightmares, God is ready to solve it. You yourself know without any altar of doubt, that there are problems in this world that are beyond financial and medical intervention. Some people have money and they die with their money. Some people have money, they have good education, but they don't have good homes, no good marriage, no joy in their marriage. I'm telling you, we have seen medical doctors that are very young that committed suicide intelligent, smart, graduated at the age of 22, already practicing, medical doctors, and they committed suicide. We have seen a father with five children, and he used his hand to kill all his five children. We have seen people uh, doing marriage with dogs and animals. When you look at the world, there are problems in the world that are very weak that we know these are beyond human intervention. Only God can solve them. And I'm glad to tell you that this God is willing to solve your problem now. In the book of John, Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 10, the Bible says, the thief come, ne come not, to, come not, but to steal, to, to kill, and to destroy. That is, Satan is after stealing, killing, and destroying. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it abundantly. Jesus was the gift of God. The eternal gift for eternal salvation. He came from God. He was the darling of heaven. He was the lamb of God that took away the sins of the world. He came from heaven and died for the sins of the world. Jesus died in pain. Jesus died in shame. Jesus died openly. Jesus died untimely. Jesus was spat upon him. He was given lashes of Roman flagellum on his back. And when Mary, the mother of Jesus, was looking at the punishment, she had to cover his face. her face. She couldn't behold the affliction being laid on his son. In the book of Isaiah chapter, chapter 53, the Bible says, Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form of comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. The Bible says, by his stripes 
we are healed. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 53. The book of Isaiah in the Old Testament chapter 53. I'm telling you that is a medical report. And that is a report of God. Who has believed our reports? The report of God supersedes medical reports. If the doctor says there is no way, God says there is a way. Doctors are not God. They are human. But God is God. And he is God alone. And power belongs to him. Power to save. Power to heal. Power to deliver. The power of God through the name of Jesus can set you free from sin, from sickness, from disease. And the power of God is in that name of Jesus. And you can only go to God through Jesus Christ. There is no other way to go to God except Jesus. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. There is no other name that can save us except the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in that name. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ to save, to heal, and to deliver. And you have to come to Jesus for that name to work for you. You have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God for his name to work for you. You have to believe that he died on the cross. He came. Actually, he came. He was born of Virgin Mary. And there are other religions that supported the fact that Jesus was miracle. The, the, the pregnancy of Jesus was miraculous. Mary, the mother of Jesus, had that pregnancy miraculously without any man. And Jesus was given birth to the Bible says, you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save the people from their sin. Most disease, most sicknesses are caused by sins. And when the sins are forgiven, the sicknesses will go. The forgiver of sin is also the remover of sickness. God Almighty, Jesus Christ, is the what? The forgiver of sin. Is also what? The remover of sin and of disease and sickness. In the word of God, Psalm 103, the Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, who forgives all my iniquities, number one, and then who heals all my diseases. When God forgives your iniquities, he will heal your disease. You need to walk with God in faith. You need to walk with God in obedience, and he will set you free. Remember, God is not training you with, with disease. Some people believe that God is training them, training them with sickness. God is not training you with affliction God is not training you with nightmares God is not training you with cancer God is not training you with brain tumor God is not training you with pain in your brain God is not training you with pain in your body it is the enemy that brought the pain in your body a pain or disease in the body can be because of enemies or natural occurrence but what, whatever means through which that pain came God is able to deliver you right now. There is no problem that God cannot solve. Come to think of it, all the world, God made them in six days. Just six days. Six days. Look at the entire world. Russia has the very big uh, land areas. Look at China. Look at America. Look at Canada. Look at Africa. Look at all the constellations, all the galaxy bodies. Look at the heavens. Look at the stars. Look at snows. Look at snows all around here. God made everything in the world. That song says, All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, that Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little buzz that sings, He made their glowing colors. He made their tiny wings. He gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell how great is God Almighty who has made all things well. He made all things well. God did not make disease. God did not make sickness. God did not make HIV. God did not create COVID-19. God did not create uh, Omicron. These are the works of darkness. These are the uh, result of sin that Adam and Eve brought into the world. But as a good news today, Jesus came to reverse the work of Satan. And Jesus is a gift. It's a free gift from God. It is up to you to accept him. I beseech you today,
to give your life to Jesus. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may never come for you. Anything can happen. But right now that you can still breathe, reconcile with God today by accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you confess that Jesus is Lord, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. Now I want you to say with me that Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are the Lord. You are my Lord and Savior. And I confess with my mouth right now, according to the scriptures, wash away my sins with your blood. Father, write my name in the book of life. Deliver me from all the works of darkness and preserve me for your heavenly kingdom. In Jesus' name, I pray for you as a servant of God from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Whatever that is not of God, whatever disease that, that you have, I command those diseases to disappear from your body now in Jesus' name. That name, there is no devil that can stand before that name. I decree and I declare, be healed from the top of your head to the sole of your feet in Jesus' name. In your brain, in your eyes, in your kidney, in your lungs, in your blood, let the right hand of God heal you from that ailment. In Jesus' name, you shall not die. You will live and declare the works of God. Remember, there is no mountain that we can't move. When I say we, I mean Jesus and I. When I walk with Jesus and he is mine. There is no mountain that we can't move. There is no sickness that we can't cure. When I say we, I mean Jesus and I. When I walk with Jesus and he is mine. There is no mountain that we can't move. Look at the world. Look at everything. Look behind you. Look at this. Look at the snows everywhere. This is the hand of God. That is the hand of God. That is the hand of God. God who made all things. Nothing is impossible without God. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible for that God. God, the owner, the savior of our soul, the healer of our body. His name is Jehovah Rapha. Come to Jesus today. Religion cannot save you. Only Jesus can save. There is no other way to get to God apart from the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord God will open your understanding and he will minister to you in your dream. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not miss heaven. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. God bless you and have a nice day. In Jesus' name.